Welcome to this comparative tutorial on linear regression in Python. In this tutorial, I will walk you through the entire process of building a simple linear regression model from scratch, complete with a real-world example. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more data science and machine learning tutorials. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave them in the comments box below. First of all, I would like to introduce uh, about linear regression. What is linear regression? Linear regression is uh, uh, the most commonly used machine learning algorithm that uh, used statistical method for modeling the relationship between dependent variable and independent variables by fitting a linear equation to the observed data. The goal is to fit uh, to find the best fitting line or hyperplane in the case of multiple independent variables that minimizes the sum of square differences between the predicted values and the actual values. Uh, basically, there are two uh, types of variables in linear regression, dependent variable and ind independent variable. The dependent variable is the variable that you want to predict or understand. And independent variable uh, that influences or explains the dependent variable. Uh, basically, you may have more than two uh, independent variables, but you, you only have one dependent variables. So the dependent variables always depend on the independent variables uh, because uh, that dependent variables uh, uh, to be uh, predicted or uh, the uh, futures, okay? Okay, once we understand what is linear regression and types of uh, dependent and dependent variables in linear regression, uh, as a machine learning engineer or data scientist, uh, the first thing is just uh, define the statement of problem. Here I have mentioned that uh, uh, the statement of problem. The statement of problem is that if you want to predict a student's score on test, on a test that is dependent variable based on the number of hours, the number of hours they studied, which is the independent variable. So uh, in this case, once you uh, just uh, understand the statement of problem and may, uh, clearly define the statement of problem, you have to collect data on several students, including their study hours and test scores. And you want to build a linear regression model to make predictions, OK? Data collection is the first step as a data scientist or a machine learning engineer. Once you clearly define the statement of problem, you need to uh, collect the data. So here I have two variables, independent and dependent variables. The independent variable in this case is uh, the study hours. It is not uh, dependent on any of the other uh, variables, but the test score that's going to be predicted uh, uh, is dependent variable, okay? here. For example, when the study house or x is 2, that the dependent variable or the test score or y is 50, and so on. When the test score is 6, I mean the study house is 6, and the test score uh, is 80. So this is a simplified uh, data set. Based on this sim uh, simplified data set, we could understand the a relationship between dependent and dependent variables, okay, by uh, plotting a scatter plot. So in this case, I have just uh, uh, plot a scatter plot to understand the relationship between study house and test scores. So what are the relationship between the two uh, variables? So if you may have more than uh, two independent variables, so you have to just uh, plot each independent variables uh, across the uh, dependent variable to understand the relationship each, uh, between each uh, dependent and dependent variables. So this will uh, help you determine if the linear relationship exists in between the two variables. Okay, in this case, I have just uh, uh, imported the math plot uh, to visualize the scatter plot. The scatter is very, very uh, important to plot uh, the relationship between two variables. Uh, so here, study hours is already defined, the data set and the test scores for each study hours is defined. 
Based on this, I just uh, plot the scatter plot. The steady house is the x-axis and the state square is the y-axis. And finally, uh, I, I just uh, import, uh, run this code and let's understand the relationship between the two variables, steady house and test scores. Okay, this is the uh, uh, scatter plot. As you can see, the scatter plots, the line shows that uh, the they have a relationship. The relationship is a uh, positive uh, relationship, which is when the study hours increases, the test score increases as well. For example, when the study hours two, the data point uh, here, the dot represents the data point and uh, the test score. So the test score uh, increases. For example, when it, it is three, the test score is 60, uh, four is uh, 70, and five is uh, 80, and six is 90. So this is a linear, they have a linear relationship between study hours and test scores. When the, the study hours increases, the test score increases as well. Once we could understand the relationship with the two variables, then the next step is uh, build a model. Building a model is very essential to predict uh, the new data, okay, based on this uh, uh, historical data. So to build a linear regression model to fit the data, the the equation for a simple linear regression model is uh, this one. Uh, as you know, in mathematics, this is a linear equation. Linear equation to where represents the predicted test score, x is a steady house. x is a steady house and p uh, 0 is the intercept or constant. And b one is the slope or coefficient of uh, x that represents the changes in the test score uh, for each additional study hour. So based on this linear equation, so uh, we can use various methods to calculate the B0 and B1, such as the least squares method. In Python, you can use libraries like NumPy or scikit-learn to perform linear regression. Here is uh, an example using scikit-learn. First of all, you have to import the linear regression uh, class from scikit-learn module and import numpy and first of all you have to uh, change and reshape the data into numpy array because this linear regression algorithm accepts uh, numpy array only so here i have a list of data it is not numpy array so you have to convert or reshape that data into that numpy array once you reshape that you can create a regression models using uh, this, just call that uh, class and uh, create a, mod a model and fit the data, which uh, or fit the model to the data, which is the study house and test score uh, here. I have already reshaped that data into a numpy array and you can, the model can uh, fit that uh, to that data, which means training the model. So, Based on this training model, we can predict a new data uh, and new test scores uh, on the study house, on the given study house, okay? Once you fit the model, this, which means the model is trained and you can input any study house into that model and the model going to predict the test scores of a new student. Okay, uh, we can get this, inter once, the, once the model is uh, fitted to the data, you can get the intercept and slopes of uh, the linear equation. Intercept is model does intercept underscore and the coefficient or the B naught is B1 is that uh, coefficient underscore and uh, that uh, index zero. So the in this linear equation, the intercept is 37 and the coefficient is seven, okay? Because the coefficient uh, is, or the slope is, that represents the change in the test score for each additional study hour. Okay. Now, once we train the model to the data uh, or uh, fit the model to the data, the next step is make predictions. Let's say uh, predict the study, uh, the test scores based on the study hours. So you can just use uh, model.predict. The model is already trained on the old data. 
and it's going to predict the new test scores based on steady house because they have a positive relationship between steady house and test scores. Okay, here you have to sh reshape this steady house and pass to the uh, predict. That is, you always uh, predict the test scores based on that x independent variable. This is the x. Now you can uh, get the predicted score for uh, each house by iterating over the steady house. And uh, as you can see, when the steady house happens, uh, the, uh, the test score is 89.5, which is 90. Yeah, when the steady house uh, six, the test score was uh, 80. So because it, it just, the steady house increases, the test scores increases as well. Okay, so you can input any uh, steady house here and you can understand. For example, if le let me add six, six, let's, let's see what is the, okay, the model is not fitted here. I need to fit here. Okay. Let's predict six, that is 82, around 82. So here we have already given that study that is around 80. Okay, that is good prediction okay uh, so you can predict the any test scores based on the given study house once the model is fitted to the old data okay now the last step in this uh, tutorial is plotting the regression line to plot the regression line on a scatter plot in python you can use the coefficients obtained from your linear regression model to create the line Assuming you already have a fitted linear regression model, I have already uh, uh, fitted regression model here. Once the regression model is fitted, you can use anywhere in the. So here, scatter plot of the old data is already defined above. And now let's generate a range of steady house for the regression line. Uh, just take the minimum and maximum up to 100 uh, test scores. For example, let, let me check this and let me print. Okay, this is a steady house, 100 steady house here, and it's going to predict the test scores according to this steady house, okay? Now let's predict that uh, X range. And let's plot the X range uh, and predicted scores. So here already predicted the test scores for the X range using the model uh, and uh, put the color red, line weights and label. You can put the uh, legend to see the old data set and predicted regression lines. Okay. Here is the regression line. So the red represents the regression or predicted uh, line. So uh, this is this shows that it has a positive relationship, linear relationship between the study house and test scores. So that's a good fitted uh, regression models in this case. So you can use these regression models to uh, predict any test scores based on the given uh, study house. So in this case, I have just generated a steady house X-ray to create the X values for the regression. That is independent variable. And it covers the same range as you uh, observe it in the data point above. And I also used model to predict uh, the corresponding test scores, predict scores for that uh, generated X uh, range. Finally, just I used plot, plt dot plot to plot the regression lines on the scatter plot and setting the line color to red and adjusting it is line with is the label parameter at this data, a label for the legend. So uh, this is a simple uh, examples how to uh, predict test scores using linear regression line. And in this example, I just demonstrated the basic steps of simple linear regression. In practice, you may encounter more complex uh, regression scenarios with multiple independent variables. Here, 
I showed you uh, only one uh, dep independent variable. So you can practice uh, using multiple uh, linear uh, regression or non-linear relationship between the variables. For example, if they could have uh, linear, uh, they could not have any linear relationship between the variables. So you have to use polynomial regression because they have no relationship between the two variables. But in this case, I just uh, uh, used a positive relationship that is a single linear relationship. I hope you've enjoyed in this video tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and also write uh, comments under this video tutorial in the comment section. Thanks for watching today.